Hey guys, it's Callum here. Um, yeah, this is just the um, this is my continuation of the last tutorial of making a game in Blender. Um, so far, we have it set up so that you know you have a wait, so that you have a decent camera here. Oh, yeah, so you have camera um, that tracks and follows the player. You have forward, back, right, and left controls and right rotation and left rotation. You can also, I've also added these um, dynamic objects just to play around with to show the physics um, with really bad collisions. Um, you know, you can knock them off into nowhere. Well, you know, whee, wherever I'm going. It is GSLL shader, which you just have to go uh, shading from multi texture to GSL. And um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, so today we're going to go over the um, the basic um, modeling of great. Going to go over the basic modeling of um, our character. So, so yeah, we may as well start now. Um, so our thing is called Cube. Hit M, move to Layer Two, and click on Layer Two. Just chuck it here. <laughs> um, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So um. But add some quick lamps and crap. Um, so yeah, so to make light reflect off of it, you have to have material because you know optics and stuff. Um, so you just chuck that dude up here. Put one here. Put one here. Put another one here. Just to give basic Latin. Okay, so I'm time lapse a little bit. Um, this is just how I make things quickly, so you don't have to do it. But yeah, um, so first of all, we're gonna subdivide it. Um, click on this little baby here, so you can select vertices through it. Delete these vertices. Make sure that the origin point is in the very center. Um, Select everything. Add a mirror modifier. Um, you find out which axis it is on. So that doesn't look a rat. So you're gonna do clipping. So it, you know, does that and stuff. Um, merge. Just playing around with a few settings here. Just making sure it's okay. Yep, this looks fine. So it's basically just so. Once you subdivide it again, this side is affected as well as this side. Um, so we're going to start off getting using pressing C here. All you have to do is kind of paint the vertices that you need, and middle mouse button to delete vertices that you're not. Well, not to delete, more to just. Whatever. Um, so we're going to move. We're going to scale this in on the Y axis a little bit. Maybe uh, that much. Um, looks alright. Um, we are going to do um, Alt R to. That was not what I wanted. Control Z. Um, Control R. Yeah, sorry. I haven't <laughs> I haven't done this in ages. Um, so yeah, just set up to around about wherever you want your head to be. Um, set on also around this way. Around where you want the neck to be, maybe around there. So we're going to be adding the verts that we need. Oh no! <laughs> um, add one here. So yeah, we're just going to be adding the verts that we need. Because, um, you know, we need them. <laughs> um, yeah, so we turn this little thing off now so you can't see through it. And you paint these vertices. Okay, it's being weird. So you just. How about you don't use that technique? Because it's being really weird recently. Um, let's hold down Shift and. Uh, what was it doing that? Um, and click on the vertices. What? Okay. So we hit E to extrude. We'll go up here. And then we hit E to extrude again. 
scale it up a bit. Oop. I don't do that. Um. Remember, this is just my character. <laughs> I'm just quickly making. It's going to be crap. Um. Yeah. So do whatever you want. Don't let. Don't let me. Even though I'm that awesome, don't let me restrict what you're doing. Um. Yeah, so I just... Oh damn, I've mirrored it on the wrong side. I'm gonna do it on the x-axis as well now. So when I do that, it should come out, yep. Okay, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> Thought I had to restart then. Um, yep. So we hit the C thingy to paint these vertices. Make sure nothing else is clicked upon. Why am I using this accent? <laughs> Um. Either way, it's awesome. Cause it's me. Uh. Axes, what are you doing? Stop. What? Okay. So we do this a little bit. Okay, so gonna have to. Do some medical treatment here. Hit A um, to select everything. Then remove doubles. So now should be woo. Should be all fine and dandy. Hehe, <laughs> that was terrible. So now that I do this, woo, should be a really crappy looking character. Um, so yeah. Move these up on the Z axes. Move these roughly to same point. Um, this isn't going to be a detailed character at all, <laughs> so don't count on it being amazing game. It's just really showing how you get it going, how you get a game going. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna. Yeah, why is it doing that? Um, I'm gonna cry in a second. Um, woo! So we extrude, extrude again. Then we get these things here. Maybe, maybe B. We use the B tool thingy. See, see if that works. Um, yeah, it works good. So we're gonna make a almost a Lego man sort of thing. Um and just delete these vertices, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um yep. So do that and you the B tool here. So yep. Um No, you know what? I shall do that. Do a little loop cut there just so I can do that. <sighs> Sorry, I'm in a really derpy mood right now because I just came back from the orthodontist and you know I got my thingy removed, which is great. And I'm not gonna die. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna extrude this down to where legs would normally be the knee point. We get up now. You hit A again, then remove doubles. You apply the middle. Uh, you make sure that. Wait, it's smooth actually. No, shading. Um, don't know how to smooth it. Okay, this is not okay. So I don't know. I don't know this okay. Um. So now we shall go into object mode, apply the mirror, go back into edit mode, then select everything and remove doubles. Removed 126 vertices. So it shows how much you can really cut down on this with. And um <laughs> so a terrible looking character anyway. Chuck on a subsurf, 
because some surfs are amazing. I think they just make everyone's lives better. You bump it up by maybe that. Say, so, this is gonna look like a gingerbread man, essentially. And also, don't forget, just because there's little, you can see little blocks here. Um, you don't need to chuck it down to like five renders, five um, subdivisions. You can also just go down to a side thing here and do shading smooth. And I have to do everything. Or if you go into the object mode, so I can see it. Um, shading smooth. So now you won't see these things, and he'll be all shiny and stuff. Um, so now I'll go into sculpting. Um, be right back before I plug in my drawing tablet. Boop. Hello. Um, so I've plugged in my drawing tablet. Um, so I'm ready to go. Um, going to. I think I'll start off with the um. Maybe the grab tool, just so I can shape everything properly. Hit the right bracket, which um in most photo or whatever editing programs like GIMP or Photoshop you can um yeah w w with, with the bracket tools you can make the pen size bigger or smaller so um it reduces the meow let's bring in that waist a little bit cause this gingerbread man has been doing a bit of dieting and in fact because I'm running out of space and I'm recording in HD I should probably skip the sculpting process I'll go on and do a tutorial of sculpting later I uh, promise you. So if I bump down the resolution again to about uh, keep it on two. Um so yeah he looks very very ridiculously primitive right now so anyway. Um yeah so that's basically the modeling of a character in Blender. Enjoy um I hope you enjoyed this I sure did. So yeah guys, comment, rate, subscribe, Lost and Focus Films on YouTube, and follow me on Twitter at Cinematicum, and goodbye.